Uh, the districts are taking sort of a tiered approach to this program, started with the people in government housing and now working their way through those on Medicare and Medicaid. And for some who got the vaccine today, it was a long awaited and welcome experience. I'm just very thankful that this is one worry off of my plate. Those words from Carol Steele Wednesday morning, shortly after getting her first of two doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. Proud to wear this, this little sign. Steele was among dozens of residents and staff getting their shot at the independent living facility, Heritage Oaks Senior Living. Executive Director Tyler Alexander says the facility shut down rather hard at the start of the pandemic, and as a result, no residents were infected while only three staff members were. The residents sacrificed a lot, the associates sacrificed a lot socially, um, and the family members too. For Steele, she says that's meant a lot of sequestering and limited social contact. Can't wait to hug and kiss my grandkids and relate with my friends and family. The vaccination event was put on by the Richmond and Henrico Health Departments, led by registered nurse Aisha Williams, who says this program is targeting seniors who don't have the ability or resources to get to the mass vaccination events that are taking place. Most of the elderly don't have driver's license, so they're no longer driving. Um, they may not have anyone to transport them back and forth, so we're bringing our services to them. Williams says for the time being, these events are being held inside these facilities with equipment delivered by a new mobile unit Unit, but as the weather improves, the van itself can be used when needed. Some of these facilities may not necessarily have the adequate space so that we can be social distancing and following the CDC guidelines. Now, Williams says in the first week and a half of this program, they have vaccinated around 1,200 residents out of an estimated 5,100 in these facilities in Richmond and Henrico.